What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is actually suggested by one of you guys, and that suggestion was, what to do with major scale once you know it in all positions slash keys. I thought to myself, why don't you combine major with minor pentatonic? So that is today's video. And for gear used, as always, I'm using my Gibson Les Paul and my Overdrive Special by Wellagen. So let's dive into the video. So here is lick one, maybe the most basic of the five licks. The basis of that lick is a G minor pentatonic descending, but you're ending on the major third by bending that minor third, which is that B flat, to the B. Let's take it out slowly. That's lick number one. Let's check out lick number two. Lick number two. So lick number two incorporates a major sixth being the E, a minor seventh being the F, and a minor third slight bend to the major third. So let's check it out slowly. Right? That's lick number two. Let's check out lick number three. Mm, actually, let me change lenses. So now we're super zoomed in for lick number three. Let's check it out. So that's a minor pentatonic lick that ends on a major sixth being the E. That right there is basically a G minor chord. Cool like no? I think that's the hardest of the bunch. So let's check out lick number four. Lick number four. That's pure G minor pentatonic. That's basically a G minor 7. Slower. Let's check out last lick, lick number five. Lick number five. Pure G minor pentatonic, but you do slide to the ninth, which is the A. Slower. That's lick number five, and all right guys, that's today's video on combining major scale with the minor pentatonic. Super fun video, super cool licks. Hope y'all enjoyed it, hope it was helpful for you guys. If it was, please leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, press like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Mm -hmm.